first we'll start with downloading the proper version of Blender because we'll be using few features which are not present in the older version of Blender. So I'll just type Blender 2.91 Alpha. You can see the first link builder.blender.org from here you can download this alpha version uh, we can ignore this beta for now you just have to click this and it will download the zip file so after the download you just have to extract the files and then start blender next thing which is very important is you have to enable this plugin you can go to edit preferences and then add on section and then type images as planes you have to enable this import images as planes you can see the check mark is on now you can see all the keystrokes which i'll press on my mouse or my keyboard will be shown here so i want to delete all these items i'll press a and then press delete now i'll press f3 and type images as planes you can see that it is showing import images as planes i'll click on this I'll go to the location where I have saved my image. Now you can see that it's a solid plane. It doesn't have any image on that. So you have to go to material preview to see what the image is. So I have selected something like this, but you can see that it's flat on the ground. I want to make it vertical. So I'll press R to enable rotation. I'll press X to constrain it to the X axis and I'll type 90. Now if I go to the front view, you can see that it's exactly vertical. Now after this is done, we have to go to the edit mode. How? By pressing tab. And now we'll start adding edge loops according to these reference lines. So control R to add edge loops. I'll scroll the mouse wheel and I'll add two for now. And you can see that this is not lining properly. So I'll go to the edge select mode. You can see three modes are there. Vertex, edge and then face. So I'll go to edge selection. I'll select this edge. I'll press G and X so that it moves only in the X axis. But you can see what is happening here. It's also stretching the texture. We don't want that. So this is where the magic happens. I'll press escape. Make sure that you are in edit mode and click on this options you have something called as correct face attributes this option was not there in blender 2.8 versions it's only there after blender 2.9 now if i select this and move it you can see that it's not stretching the textures i'll place it here let's actually move these edges on the outer edges of these windows so i'll select both of these and then i'll select bonding box center I can press S to scale, I'll press X to scale it and scale it outwards, something like this. And then I can press GX and slightly move it. Now because we have this option, we don't have to worry about the textures or stretching and all those things. Similarly, we'll keep on adding lot of edge loops according to the lines of this image. S, Z along the Z axis and approximately keep it till here. Suppose if you have these kind of edges and you want to select all these loops, you just have to hold Alt and click. It will select the complete loop, go back to the front view, G, Z and place it exactly here. Now in the center you have this kind of shape so I'll press Ctrl R, scroll up and then scale in the X axis and kind of keep it here. You can see there is one more. Scale along X axis and increase it slowly. Okay. Now instead of adding one more loop here, 
I can just press Ctrl B to bevel it. You can see it has created this shape for this wooden piece here. So now by extrusions we can create a basic shape. First of all we have to extrude this inward. So I'll go back to the face mode by pressing 3 you can see that this has been selected and then I'll go to the front view because selection will be much more easier. I can select all these faces and now if I extrude this like this there might be some problems like this. So you just have to do one thing go to the material settings and then turn off this show back face. Now it will be solved. I'll just press Ctrl Z because I wanted to extrude in the backward direction. So I'll press E and maybe extrude something like this. You can right now see that this has kind of stretching problems. But we'll fix that later on. Right? Now we'll go to the front view. And basically select these parts. And extrude it inwards just little bit okay and then select only these black portions of window and press E and extrude even more okay we have a basic shape now similarly for these wooden pieces or doors we can do the same procedure go back to the edit mode select only these and you can see that it's selecting this portion as well. So I'll press Ctrl R and fix it like this. Ctrl R once again. And here, go back to the face mode, select this one and also this one. And press E. Cool. Now if your mouse cursor is not rotating properly you can just select the object which you want to be in center and then press period button on the numerical keyboard. Now it will be focusing only on that object. Similarly we will keep on adding lot of details here. Now we'll go to the face selection mode, select these only. And you can see that it has kind of inset shape. So I'll press I to inset it and then G, G along the Y axis to pull it outwards. Nice. Now we have this issue here. This is because of textures. We'll fix that later on. But we'll just continue further. You can see that this has whole kind of shape. So I'll go back to edit mode. I can press K for knife tool. And then start drawing a basic shape like this. I'll press E to extrude it. Yes, to scale it little bit and then I to inset and then extrude once again. It will just add little bit of details so we'll see what else we can do. One thing we have left is the center portion. So now let's select this first phase and hold control. Click here so it selects this complete path. I can press E and extrude it little bit. Similarly, we can add small details here like these things here and then you have the hinges. So I'll go and select all these. I can press I to inset S along the Z axis 
and roughly place it on the shape. Now let's select all these faces and we can extrude it little bit. You can see it's like a box shape so we'll have to go to the edge selection mode. Select only the ends and now we can press ctrl B to bevel them. Now if we turn off this overlay mode you can see that it has also been created like a shape. Turn on the overlay mode. I'll use the knife tool to create this kind of shape roughly. Enter. Go to the face mode and select both of these faces. Inset and then you can press G along the Y axis to pull it outwards. Nice. 